This is Simran Nagra from Biani College. Today we are going to discuss regarding the international trade theories. First, we need to understand the word international tra uh, trade. The word international trade, as it is depicting the what is international trade means it is nothing but the exchange of it is nothing but the exchange of goods and services across the international territories and the international borders. How come classical economist has come into a thought to make theories on international trade? First, we need to understand this. International trade, which was in uh, 19th or 18th century, in which Adam Smith has written his Wealth of Nation book in 17 and 76. In these books, he has totally talked about the international trade system. Why he has come into this mind to make theories on this? In 18th and 19th century, uh, European nations started realizing about the fact that they could not survive alone. They need to take help about the international trade. Now, he has given the theory, uh, theory on absolute advantage. What does he mean by the absolute advantage is in whichever commodity nation is having efficiency or a good produ production he would prefer to uh, export that good and in whichever commodity is having less efficiency that good is going to be imported by other nations now in order to improve adam smith's theory he has given his uh, critical analysis on adam smith theory he has given his approach towards the comparative advantage he, he wanted to say this thing, what if nation is less efficient in both the goods, in production of both the goods uh, of the country. Now, he would analyze the comparative advantage. In whichever commodity we do have small comparative disadvantage, country would prefer to export that good. Means, uh, if country is more and more efficient and productive in production of exports then he would prefer to export that particular good now in order to improve the ricardian theory again haberler has come into view he wanted to explain the international theory with the help of uh, opportunity cost opportunity cost in the sense in whichever good country is having less opportunity cost means he would prefer to export that good and in more uh, at the scene of more opportunity cost means he would prefer to increase uh, import on that particular good ye mera intro tha okay. absolute advantage we have studied before in brief that only if one nation is is efficient enough to produce a good in larger amount or efficiently if he is producing means he would prefer to export that amount and whichever good he is having less efficiency means he is going to import that amount amount of goods now with the help of this table we can say that us is producing enough in wheat he is producing six bushels of wheat in per hour but while uh, UK is producing only one unit of bushel per hour, means US, uh, US is having more efficiency over the wheat production. And UK is having more uh, efficiency in cotton produ production because he is able to produce five units of uh, yards of cotton, while US is able to produce only four yards of cotton. Now, what kind of gain, how much amount of gain uh, US and UK will get with the help of international trade theories? If they are making trade for six wheat, for six uh, cotton, then UK would able to produce, if UK is giving more and more, uh, instead of giving uh, his R to produce wheat, if he is giving those R's in production of cotton, he would be able to produce 5 into 6. Instead of giving uh, R's for wheat production, UK would prefer to give production in cotton. Then he would be able to produce cotton in 6 R's, 30 units of yards and now they are making trades for 6 units of wheat for 6 
cotton yards now uh, what amount of gain uk is getting six yards he is exporting to us means he would be able to gain 24 units of r with the help of uh, international trade and us is getting six uh, cotton yards from uk means he would be able to gain two units of cotton now we will proceed to comparative advantage here in uh, comparative advantage david ricardo, uh, ricardo has wanted to explain in this theory that what if a nation is less efficient in both the commodities like uk is uh, less efficient in both the commodities wheat and cotton then also we can get gain uh, through the comparative advantage in this uh, we need to uh, export the production with the help of comparative advantage how do we analyze the comparative advantage is in whatever commodity we have more comparative advantage in whatever production we are having more comparative advantage we would prefer to export that commodity this uh, wheat production if we talk about wheat production in us means us is six times more productive than the uk and cotton two times more productive than the uk means us would prefer to export you uh, wheat over here because it is six times more efficient than the uk production and UK is having less comparative disadvantage in uh, cotton. So he would prefer to export cotton uh, with the help of comparative advantage. Now we will proceed to the Hubbler theory that is on the basis of opportunity cost. Now with the help of these tables, we, uh, what we are seeing in these table that every given up of 30 units he would be able to gain 20 units of cotton how much opportunity cost is there 30 uh, wheat is given up for the addition of 20 units means he uh, his opportunity cost to two third of C and in UK case he is having opportunity cost for wheat is 2C means uh, what we can say here is in US uh, US opportunity cost for wheat is less for wheat so he would prefer to export with the less opportunity cost to wheat and UK would prefer to export a uh, cotton in uh, international uh, to the ex US now we can also understand this through the diagrams this is for wheat x-axis is denoting the wheat production and y-axis is for cotton if US is produ uh, producing the goods and serve uh, goods in domestic market only he would be able to produce only the uh, production up to this bl curve and uk would only be able to produce produ uh, production till ab curve with the help of international trade we can go above this uh, above this bl curve with the help of international trade say if domestic market is only able to produce 80 C for 70 wheat with the help of international trade we can produce up to 90 C for 120 wheat now our gain from trade is up to 10 C for 50 wheat in international market only for the US now we can say international trade is making a kind of gain over here please like comment subscribe our YouTube channel